So we moved to Canada seven months ago and that was definitely a very lonely process. We didn't know anyone arriving here, but because we, we value community, we made a conscious effort to push past that discomfort. You know, it's something that we knew that we were pursuing, but we just, logistically, how do you do that as a family of five? And so Pastor Jamie was saying, we can find you a life group, we can plug you in here. And even though that was something that I was pursuing from South Africa, being in a reality of actually doing life and my husband's schedule, my kids' schedules, and a weekly commitment just seemed quite a bit and I felt like I was backtracking on what I really wanted myself because of fear. Pastor Jamie said, well, why don't you just start your own one? Why don't you start your own life group? And I thought, who me? I can't start a life group. My husband and I chatted about it and it is something that we, we have actually always had it on our hearts to kind of do. And I said, well, why not? Even though I said yes then, I still didn't know how to make it work weekly. Pastor Jamie said, it doesn't have to be this conventional weekly commitment. I mean, you are all families of five or more gathering with young kids. It doesn't have to be this conventional thing. It can be meeting up once a month. I still had these fears of inadequacy, fears of failure, like what if. Um, but I, I do believe that God doesn't always call the qualified. He qualifies the call. We've, we've just got to be available to say yes. And it's been surprising to see how natural it's felt. It's been, it, initially we felt like we couldn't commit to a weekly thing. Meanwhile, even though we are scheduled for once a month sharing a meal together, we actually are doing weekly things anyway with these people. I've had like social anxiety and to do, to step out and, and be vulnerable is hard enough. As we're connecting and talking, those walls are breaking down and when I hear somebody else opening up their hearts and being vulnerable, it, it allows me that safe place to feel, oh, okay, they're just human like me, they're feeling the same way I am. And there's a connection, right? There's, you, you realize that you are so similar to other people. And when I get home, 10 out of 10 times, I'm saying to my husband, that really fooled my soul. That was exactly what I needed. We've got to, we've got to allow God to lead us beyond what we are comfortable with so that we can encounter our calling because how else are we going to grow?